You got Big Daddy here from HuntSports.com. And I got an email today. And I did something that, to be honest with you, I've been a miss at. I'm very involved in the hunting and sports industry. I've been a deer hunter for years and years and years. But you know, years ago, I let my membership go in the NRA. And I received an email this morning from one of my suppliers and he asked that I read it and look at it and I did and I went online and I joined. And I'm gonna tell you why I joined. I'm gonna share that with you. I'm gonna ask you to go to the site on screen, sign up for a one year, now follow this, one year free membership, not one dime, not gonna cost you a penny. You know when you watch the news at night and you hear about all this crap that's coming down in Washington, D.C. You hear about billions of dollars bailing out banks, bailing out people on Wall Street, and they're taking their millions and billions of dollars. They're going out, they're having parties all over the country with your money. Your money. Now what you have right now is a group in Washington, D.C. that the bottom line is they don't give a damn about me or you. The hardworking guy. The guy that works for a living, I don't care if you call him Joe Plummer, you know, there was your indication during the campaign. But right now, we're getting it. And the next big, big issue, folks, is going to be your guns. Because let me tell you what socialist government does not want us to have. They do not want you to have a gun. Why? Well. I'll tell you why, I did a little bit of research. I'm not one of these people that spouts off and says, you know, I don't know. I've heard of the Second Amendment. I'm sure that most of you have too. Well, the part that pertains to what I'm talking about says, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. You know, this ain't Obama talking. This is not some group that just got to Washington, D.C. These are the people that we call our founding fathers. The problem today, folks, is that we've lost our guts. After the Vietnam War, you know, look, there were people that chained themselves together to demonstrate against the Vietnam War. I and my friends served our Vietnam era veterans. There's a lot of that we didn't like, we didn't believe in, but they did it. And they got things changed, why? But you know why? Because they had the balls to get together, join arms, chain themselves together, block a street, make a point. Well, guess what? You do not have any lobbyists in Washington, D.C., and I don't either, and I cannot afford them. But you have the NRA, and here's what they're doing. Again, look on the screen. It's a free $35 one-year membership. Now, they have lobbyists. They're going to have people. They're going to have big, long lists with thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of names of people like you or me if, if what? If you'll go online, you'll go to their website and join the NRA for free. I'm going to tell you right now. They start taking our guns away. You have nobody to blame but the guy that you face in the mirror or the gal. Now, you know what? Get your wife to join. Get your friends to join. Send the link to your friends, all your hunting buddies. I don't care. Maybe they don't hunt, so what? Do you believe in the Constitution? Do you really believe in the Constitution? Because let me tell you a little secret. When your guns go, your right to practice religion will go. Your right to life, if you're on a, 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 a life support and they don't like you for some reason, that's gonna go. You think that's too radical? Look what's happened in the last 30 years. You know what, if you're old enough, if you're over 50, 
and you can look back over the last 30 years, you ask yourself what went by the wayside. You just ask yourself. Thanks for looking and thanks for joining.